Hey everybody. Uh, this week, uh, I thought I would go over the correct procedure for uh, saving your work. Okay. Now, this Sanibel Island one-page ad is going to be due next week. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so I thought this would be a good time to go over uh, saving your work uh, properly. Um, I'm going to go over two ways um, as a uh, as a PDF and uh, how to check your size to make sure it uh, will upload correctly and uh, and packaging okay um, now to be honest the um, the the package option uh, you know the simple fact is uh, I, I've been freelancing uh, for a while now and when I have a multi-page document these days uh, people do not necessarily want a package they want a PDF but we'll go over it anyway okay all right so uh first things first we have our document here which is our uh sanibel island ad okay i did two this is the one that i actually like okay so um so what we do is we'll go up to file and then down to adobe pdf preset okay now as you can see we have a couple of different options here okay for our class okay you're going to want to go with the smallest file size that is so it doesn't exceed the limit the um the the size limit that is placed in um uh, the, on moodle okay moodle will only take up to two um megabytes i believe it is okay so uh so you want to click on fault the smallest file size okay now when you do that it just comes up with this thing right here uh and it just says you know because this is clicked use uh, indesign document name as output file name you can just leave it at that and uh hit save you come it'll come up with this uh, dialog box uh which uh usually usually is pretty much okay here's your general uh summary right here i do have an exclamation point right here so we should probably check that out and uh we, under options here we got uh you know pdf preset smallest file size standard compliances our warning is that the uh preset specifies that some of the fonts are not embedded uh this application always embed embeds fonts all right, so no big deal. Don't even have to worry about it. That's nothing. So all we gotta do is just hit export, uh, and it'll give you, uh, you know, the documents transparency blend space doesn't match the destination color space specified in the export Adobe PDF settings. The export to avoid color appearance changes in the PDF, click cancel and change the documents transparency blend space or the uh, destination color space or click OK to continue with the current settings. Um, actually, uh, this is OK. Um, I, I checked it out before. Uh, this is just kind of a default warning that you will often get. So you click OK. And uh, you won't really have anything happen unless you have uh, Adobe Acrobat set up to automatically open whenever you make a PDF. Uh, I'm going to just uh, minimize this right here and go to my file folder that uh, it looks like it would have saved to. It should have saved to. Uh, Sanibel Island Add 2, Fall 2019. So let's double click on that. It's going to open up your browser and then you can actually see how it turned out. And it looks fine. Okay, it looks it looks good. So I think we're good there. All right. Now, let's bring this back up. Okay, so now we'll uh, we'll do the package option. Okay, now, this is almost as easy. All you have to do is go up to File, and then down to Package on the menu that pops up. Right down here, Package. Click on that, and you get a dialog box that opens up, a dialog box for packaging. Now, right off, we have this uh, summary right here, and we can see a little exclamation point. Okay, um, and what does it say? It says links and images, three links found, zero modified, zero missing, zero inaccessible images, zero embedded to use RGB color space. 
Okay, now that uh, doesn't sound like a problem. We're gonna double check our fonts here. Those are the three fonts that we used. Okay, the status is okay on those. All right, links and images. Uh, let's see, we got the Fibonacci spiral uh, linked. Uh, there's no profile there. Let's see, our one JPEG, our other JPEG. Yeah, that'd be our two pictures. Okay, and uh, just looking over all this, looks pretty good. Okay, colors and inks, that's CMYK, okay, uh, which is what you want for, uh, for print, okay. Uh, RGB is for online print settings, uh, external plugins, and it looks, like, it looks like we're good to go. So we'll go ahead and package that. All right, and that's going to come up with a little save box here. Notice that it says here are the things that are checked. Uh, checked. We got copy fonts. Okay, except uh, activated from Adobe fonts and not Adobe's CGK fonts. Uh, copy link graphics, update graphic links and package. Uh, all this stuff, this default stuff, is you know pretty standard issue. Uh, all you really need to do is just click on package. You're going to get another uh, another little warning here. Uh, this one is probably, yeah, this one's about copyright. And again, these things are nothing to worry about. That's why if you want to, you can click on don't show again. They don't have to see this all the time. Okay. Font software and stuff like that. Uh, just click OK. And again, this is the uh, warning about the blend space because, because, um, because the JPEGs that I used here were taken from Unsplash, they are um, RGB. It means they're uh, red, green, red, green, and blue based. And you know that was what's that's what's suitable for being online. Uh, what this is going to do though is this is going to um, you know it's just letting you know that uh, you're saving it as a you know CMYK. Okay, so you can just Again, if you want to say don't show again, you can just you know, click OK. And then it's going to save a copy. All right. And once that's done, you can go back to your file folder. You can see right here, here is our packaged folder. Now, if you open it up, you can see that it's got uh, all the fonts in there. You got the links in there. And you've got the, uh, you've got the, uh, the InDesign markup. And you've got the actual document itself. And it also includes a PDF version for quick viewing. Okay. So that's that's pretty easy. Okay. Uh, now, in order to, uh, you know, this, this thing is, uh, you know, pretty good sized. Uh, so, you know, you might want to kind of uh, double check your, uh, your size there against um, the, uh, the, the two gigabytes. Uh, limit okay and that's pretty easy to do okay let's let's start with the uh with the pdf that we created first that's 152 uh kilobytes right okay it says right there 152 well um if you aren't sure how to check that you can very easily find and this is just a, a bing search you know all you got to do is just type in kb to mb and go one, five, two, okay. And that is not even one megabyte, okay. So uh, our our PDF is good to go, okay. Now back here, okay. We've already got the one fifty two right there. Uh, what about two thousand six hundred twenty eight, okay? Uh, let's, uh, let's check that out. That was, whoops, excuse me, wrong thing. Uh, okay, two, two, six, two, eight. Okay, see now that, the document alone inside of the package would be too big for uploading to, uh, to Moodle, okay? Um, I gotta say, I've been after, uh, I've been after the IT department to 
up the uh, up the uh, capacity for a while now, and it hasn't happened yet. So uh, so as you can see here, it's, it's a pretty much straight ratio to ratio kind of thing. You know, 2,628 would be 2.628. Uh, you know, it's you probably don't need a converter if you know that's how it works. But, you know, just saying. Okay, so uh, again, my suggestion would be to just use uh, a PDF, and that way too, it can just uh, it can show up uh, on the uh, on the class Moodle page, so everybody can see it very easily. Okay, uh, that that's what that's what works best nowadays, and that's what I would suggest. Okay, all right, uh, I think that's all I really need to go over this week. Uh, you know, the packaging, the PDF thing. Um, and uh, I look forward to uh, seeing your work, okay? I'll talk to you guys later.